Welcome to Sonya's Podcast. So today we are going to be talking about autosexuals. Do y'all know, when I first heard of autosexuals, actually there was a guy and a girl and I was on a train and they was actually talking about it. I honestly didn't know what it was. So I was like, well, I wanted to do anybody else know what this is. So I do it, I did a little research And this is what I found out. Or the sexual, a.k.a. sexually attracted to yourself. Do you possibly enjoy masturbating more than partner sex? Do you find yourself being attracted to yourself more than other people? If you answer yes to these questions, you might be autosexual. To answer a question, some of you might be thinking, no, autosexuality is not new. Rather, we are just beginning to normalize it and learn about it. And all the possibilities that humans are capable of feeling and desiring. Because here's the thing about sexuality. You can't put it in a box. Now, let's see what autosexual actually means. What is the definition? And here's a few signs to know if you're autosexual. Being autosexual generally means that a person is more attracted to themselves and mostly enjoys solo sex more than partner sex. This could entitle fantasizing about oneself, dreaming about oneself, and having a sexual desire for oneself. Sexuality is a fluid spectrum, and autosexuality falls more closer to self-desire and pleasure, meaning that an autosexual person drives a great amount of satisfaction and pleasure from experiencing themselves sexually. This is different as bit from auto maniaism, which is when someone is romantically attracted to in love with themselves. So, the questions people ask is being autosexual is unhealthy. Quite the contrary. Actually, being autosexual is a perfectly healthy expression of sexual desire. In fact, it can be quite liberating and empowering to sink into this amount of eroticism with oneself what potentially isn't healthy is trying to make yourself present to something you don't feel comfortable with meaning if you don't enjoy partner sex as much as solo but you pressure yourself to do it examine the why behind that again even though it's just becoming more widely normalized all the sexuality is absolutely healthy form of sexual expression and not weird so let's just get rid of the word weird when we're talking about people's desires if you order sexual, you never want to have sex with anyone else. Not true. There are plenty of order sexual people who have sex, sexual or romantic relationship with one other people. Being order sexual does not mean you're incapable of desire or loving someone else. Even though they are more attracted to themselves sexually, it doesn't take away from their connection with other people because that's just not how people in relationship work. Another question. Being order sexual is narcissistic. Once again, nope. It's not narcissistic to have a preference, even if that preference is well yourself. If you're asking me, the only reason we even ask this question is about our society teaches us that it's okay to be confident and love ourselves, but only to a certain point. Once you pass that point, it's narcissistic and over the top. I call bullshit. When it comes to order sexuality, this is someone's preference and what they desire isn't causing any harm to anyone or themselves. Next question. Do you have high self-esteem? This is a misconception for a couple of reasons. Autosexuality is a sexuality, not a character trait. You don't get to choose to be autosexual just like you don't get to choose to be gay, straight, asexual, or trans. And just because autosexuality involves someone's finding themselves attracted doesn't mean that they are full of themselves or have very high self-esteem. Like all of us, they are most likely just figuring out as they go. Next question, is autosexual the same as asexual? People who identify as asexual experience minimum minimum to no sexual arousal arousal or desire. This differs from autosexuality because autosexual people do feel the feelings of arousal, intimacy, and pleasure just with themselves. Here are the signs that you may be autosexual. First, a little disclaimer about this section. It's possible to be a little autosexual. After all, sexuality is a spectrum, maybe... You find yourself sexy and feel particularly erotic in certain lingerie or using a Pacific sex toy. Great. Press into that. You don't have to be all or nothing. Just do what feels good and what you enjoy. 
You prefer sex with yourself more than others. Again, this is one of the key indicators of autosexuality. However, this does not mean someone who's autosexual exclusively prefer masturbating over sex with their partner. But mostly, you often enjoy sex of any kind in front of a mirror. Who doesn't love a little sneak peek of what their sex you're having look like every now and then? Well, for autosexual individuals, this may be particularly hot or even necessary for their playtime. Three, you are deeply attracted to yourself. As a sex therapist, I believe it's more... Not me. I'm not saying this because I'm not a sex therapist. This is actually a sex therapist saying this. She said, I believe it's important to think highly of yourself, build yourself up, and show yourself self-love. For all the sexual people, though, there is a sexual level of attraction that many people may not necessarily experience with themselves. This is one of the reasons all the sexuals feel like they can meet all their own sexual needs because not only can they pleasure themselves, but they are attracted to themselves while doing it. Now, again, that wasn't me because I'm not a sex therapist. That came from a sex therapist who said that. Four, you fantasize about yourself. Whether you are masturbating or having partner sex, it's normal for our minds to wander to different fantasies. For all the sexual people, their mind often wanders to sexual fantasies about themselves, even if they are partaking in partner sex. This doesn't mean they are not pre- present and enjoying their current sexual experience. If we are being honest, everyone's mind wanders during sex, no matter what their sexuality is. It's natural. This may also include having erotic dreams about yourself. Five, you're attracted to people who look like you. If you find yourself sexually attracted, this is probably inedible and can happen for some autosexual people. Again, not where. There are kind of ways to have conversation if something becomes problematic. Just because it seems different than what we are into doesn't make it weird. The bottom line of autosexuality, if the above signs resonate with you, you may be autosexual. Again, it's possible to be a little autosexual. Sexuality exists on a spectrum, but if you feel the term autosexual describes you, you can use that term. There's absolutely nothing abnormal about being autosexual, and it isn't a problem that needs to be solved. So, the psychotherapist that was saying where she stated her name was Rachel Wright. She's a psychotherapist, sex educator, and a relationship expert based in New York. So... That was um, autosexual. I really didn't know anything about it, but that was my first time learning. And I was kind of glad I learned about it because I didn't know it really exists, but now it does. So let me know what y'all think about it. You can go to sv7667529 at gmail.com and leave a comment. You can also leave a comment on here. You can follow me at S O N dot I A nine seven nine five Instagram Sonia Vasquez Sonia Santiago Facebook Sonia Santiago Twitter Sonia San Sonia Santiago Pinterest and you can also I have a um a YouTube channel but I haven't really been on it so I'm gonna start to get on it so you can follow me there you can go to these website at www.avilo.com use promo code sonya www instacart use promo code 156 i also have a website now that you can go to the website is give me one second http dot dot slash slab podcasters.com dot wordpress.com you can also go to buy me a coffee if you like to buy me a coffee and please listen to this on speakers anchors apple spotify wherever you listen to your podcast at and please share thank you and much love